What's up? Welcome to the Weedle Nation. My name is Otis. Today we're going to be getting into cards that I want to get graded. There we go. Now oh, we got a ditto. This ditto, I'm hoping, does pretty well. Um, or they actually grade it because if you see that again, it was an incident with the cat. She got a hold of it and that's what happened. Other than that, this card used to be immaculate. I mean, this thing, the centering on this thing was perfect. There was no edge wear. There was nothing wrong with this card until she got a hold of it. But there it is. Game Boy promo. Meowth. Black Star. Pull your pants up, my dude. Thought that was cool. More Japanese. There's a bunch of Japanese stuff in here, apparently. I don't remember putting all this in here, but there it is. Matang. Octillery Reverse Holographic. What's that? Uh, Aquapolis, I think that's from. Golduck Reverse Holographic. Bark... Barboach Reverse Holographic, Fanfi Reverse Holographic, Rattata, Sudowoodoo. Now this card is really cool, this Blissey card. Um, I don't remember where it came from. Whatever this is. I just think it's really cool. I believe it's Japanese. It is Japanese. But I think it's a really cool card, so I figured why not get that graded also. Uh, just Holographic, Aquapolis Energy, Jinx Reverse Holographic, Gastrodon, Holographic. I don't remember what all these are from. I, I Honestly, I just I don't remember the sets. Magikarp Reverse. Reverse. Skarmory, I believe this is a Reverse Holographic. It's really hard to tell, um, but I think it is. Weezing, Weezing. Those are just the front end of the last pile. I submit, I'm submitting quite a few of those. Then we got this pile here. We'll start from the back. A really rough shaped Kangaskhan. Um, I like damaged cards. I think they're cool. Uh, most of my binder sets, like the base set, things like that, a lot of those cards are damaged. There's cards that I really don't want to get graded because the condition. So I figured I'd make master sets out of them because I don't want perfectly, you know, nice, perfect cards in my uh, binder collection. Just it's almost a waste, in my opinion. Uh, so we got that guy. There is a not so roughed up version of it. I had three or four of these. Uh, what do we got? Chansey Holographic from Japanese base set. Very nice card. English card Dragonite. Non holographic Dragonite. And it is not the error card. It's not the five out of 62, sadly. Uh, but it is a Dragonite, which is still very nice. Japanese Dragonite from what is that? Rocket. I think it is a rocket gang. I think is what it was called in Japanese. I don't remember. Uh, still very nice card. Very cool looking card. Little off center. Uh, not the best condition, but still a very nice card. Back to the English. Haunter non-holographic. This one is in really nice condition. Uh, centering is very, very, very lightly off on the left side. Uh, same on the back. It's just off on the left side, but there's not a whole lot of whitening on the back of this card. So I can't complain too much about it. More Japanese. Hypno, Japanese Hypno. This one is, oh, it's got the rarity symbol. Rocket Gang again. More English. This is Alakazam. Very nice card. Looks like a lot of these. I think the rest are all English. Electrode from Jungle. Very nice card. This one's in pretty rough shape. That's why. The Electabuzz winner, the best of promo card. Um, I sent one of these in before, I believe. That was in much nicer condition. This one's not such great condition. I bumped my camera. This one's not in that greater condition, but it is what it is. It's still Wizards of the Coast era-ish. Uh, Lapras from Fossil, non-holographic. It's not really worth anything, but it is what it is. Gyarados holographic from base set. Again, off-centered in here. What are we doing? This one's not in awful shape, but it's not in great shape. Uh, it's got some whitening down in the bottom, things like that. These are all things that, you know, I just, I love grading cards. I don't really care what the grades come back as, to be honest with you. Uh, Koga's Beedrill. I have one of these in my binder already, so I didn't need this one. And this one's in amazing shape. Very, very nice shape. Probably a good contender for a 9, 9.5 9 at CGC. Uh, this one has almost like a rip in it in the side. Kangaskhan. All right, wow. Nitto King. I don't know why I said that. Nitto King base set 2. I was going to put this in my binder, but I already have one that's actually a little bit worse shaped than this one, so I figured why not. Get that one graded. Uh, Muck from Fossil, super off center, and it's got a bend in the corner, but it is what it is, don't care. There's another Muck from Fossil. Uh, this one's in much, much nicer condition. All right, Mewtwo EX. 
Black Star promo. Not a bad card there. Uh, Japanese Mewtwo. So it looks like we're doing a bunch of Mewtwo's on this side. Japanese version of the Mewtwo. It's like the reverse, almost. They're like opposite sides. It's pretty cool. Uh, uh, what's next? More Japanese. Another Mewtwo. Same card. So I'm submitting quite a few of the same cards here. These stacks are just... Let me move this stack up here so it's just out of the way. Mewtwo and Mew GX. Black Star promo. Probably another one in here. Yep, Mew and Mewtwo GX. This is not the promo. This is just the regular version. Uh, World Championship card. What is this? Mew and our Mewtwo and Mew GX again. It's the same card we just had, just the World Championship version of it from 2019. Pretty cool card. Uh, Mewtwo EX, this is Evolutions. Another one, Evolutions. Another one, Evolutions. Another Black Star promo Mewtwo. We should be getting into the Mews here soon. Another Mewtwo. Another Mewtwo. People love Mewtwo's. Um, I'm, I was never really a huge fan of Mewtwo. I think it's a cool Pokemon, but... I was never the biggest fan. I think it's because when Mewtwo strikes back, he kind of made me mad. He was kind of a douche. I don't know. I really, I don't. I couldn't tell you why, but I was never really a huge fan of him. More Mewtwo's. I just happen to have a, a bunch of them. Um, the Mewtwo. This is the uh, vending series. I sent another one of these off to CGC a while ago. Different version of it. The WB presents Pokemon the first movie. So there's that guy. Japanese. So this is the 25th anniversary celebrations Mew. Um, in that cool spectral hollow. It's kind of hard to see. If you look at a certain light, you can see it. I thought that was really cool, so I figured I'd get that graded. Uh, Mew EX from Celebrations. Again, a really cool card. I really like the uh that specific card. Uh, Mew Gold Star, but this is the World Champions from 2008. Uh, I don't own any real gold stars other than the Umbreon from Celebrations and I guess the Greninja, but I don't consider them honestly really good or real gold stars, even though I guess technically they are. So I figured I'd buy a couple of these remakes, the World Championship series of them because they're cool. Uh, we got Ancient Mew. This is not the error or corrected version, the Nintendo. This is Nintendo. It's kind of hard to see, but it's just the regular movie promo. Fossil, holographic fossil Mew, Japanese. I want the English version of this in holographic. Um, but I just haven't bought it yet, I guess. I don't know. There's the English version and non holo Black Star promo. Glaceon GX. Very nice card. Very, very nice card. Evolutions are always cool. Japanese Glaceon. Again, very cool card. Trying to zoom through these a little faster. Umbreon and Darkrai GX. Very nice card. There's the Espeon and Deoxys GX. Again, very nice card. I did get one of these graded. It's actually at CGC right now. There's another one. And another one. I don't know how many. I think I only had three or four of these, right? Only three? Yeah, there we go. Espeon and Deoxys GX. I don't remember what set this is from. Whatever that little squiggly S is down there. I can't remember. Tag team, maybe. That would make sense. Team up or something. Espeon EX. This card is ridiculously nice. I love the color. I love the everything about this card. The only thing I don't love about this card is this white dot here. Uh, I don't know what happened or how that happened. This card was in beautiful shape. And then I pulled out of the binder one day and that was there. I don't. I don't know, maybe it was a factor error and I didn't notice it to begin with. I have no idea. And we got our beautiful guys here. The pink, pink, pink evolution. Here's another one. Uh, I think it's different, right? They're kind of hard. The Sylveons are kind of hard to tell apart sometimes just because a lot of the artwork is just very heavy and pink. There's another one. There might be more in here. Let's see. There is another Sylveon. This one's a little different. Artwork's a little different. Vaporeon V, Black Star promo. So this is from the uh, the Vaporeon V 
premium box i don't know is that box that cool box got both of those the v-maxes and there's a japanese card here maybe it's the same thing oh this is the jolteon which i was not able to get the jolteon version of these boxes it was a little upsetting but i did get this this um what are these called like trainer cards or something i don't really know another jolteon card this is from um pop series 3 holographic very cool card we had a jolteon we are now we're onto the flareon v max premium collection box i think that's what it was called the flareon v max premium collection box uh this card is very cool it's not as cool as the v but this card is very cool i think the cards alone that come in these are worth more than the boxes retail so still very cool uh it, they probably sell more or you'd probably make more money off them selling them raw than you would getting them graded just because sometimes they're just i mean if you get it very high grade it's a little different i guess but i don't know uh here's the flareon of the japanese team up thing the eevee very nice i was hoping to find the uh the Porion from that too but i ended up not getting one zapdos base set holographic beautiful card i think these are the birds right zapdos again base set zapdos from fossil you can see the very small difference between them um for the most part it's just this one looks i don't want to say more realistic but it pops a little more i guess you could say the hollow is a little nicer in this one but this just pops a little more it's very cool Let's set those over there that one was the non-holographic it's another fossil non-holographic i only had one holographic and it's in my binder i ordered it off of amazon because i needed it for the binder here's the japanese fossil holographic so that's the hollow version just in japanese Another Japanese card, Articuno, very nice, from Fossil. Uh, I needed this for my binder, the English version, so I bought the English one and that replaced it. Venusaur, again, no clue what this set is, 2008, so I don't know. What sets came out in 2008? Was that black and white? Blastoise and Piplup, very cool card. Um, I had three or four of these. I gave one. My daughter has a friend at school that collects Pokemon. For Valentine's Day, I pulled a bunch of cards out. Uh, Blastoise is his favorite. And then Rhydon was the second favorite. So I gave him a Rhydon, a Blastoise. I gave him a Charizard, things like that. Just as a Valentine's Day present from my daughter to him. She probably has a crush on him or something. I don't know how these little kids work nowadays. Another Blastoise and Piplup. We're getting there. Charizard V Black Star promo. Probably seen that a million times. Charizard V, Darkness of Blaze. Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. I think that was. Here's another Charizard GX, Black Star Promo. Is that the Hidden Fates 10, maybe? This looks like Burning Shadows, maybe? Charizard GX. Let me know down below. Let me know down below. We got Reshiram and Charizard GX. That is the Black Star promo. I love the, the the pattern on this or the design on this. I just love the the Charizard. He's kind of like looking away, and then you got the Reshiram kind of flying through him. I thought that was a really cool card. Here we go again. Another one, just a different art. Uh, well, I got a, quite a few of these, the Trainer Charizards. I thought these were really cool, and I was picking them up for like five or six bucks a piece, something like that, off of eBay. So I really couldn't pass them up. Uh, I don't know if they're ever going to hold any value or what they're going for currently. But I thought they were cool. So I figured I'd get a bunch of them and get them all graded and keep a couple of them. Probably give one away. Things like that. Um, looks like we're into the Charizards. This is... don't know. Dragon, Dragon Mastery maybe? I don't know. That is Detective Pikachu. Hollow Charizard. Another Detective Pikachu Charizard. Um, this looks like the Vivid Voltage one, but I don't know. Volt Tackle, maybe, this is? I don't I think this is Volt Tackle, Japanese. The Metal Charizard. Um, I just saw Leonhard's video where he got the CGC 10, perfect 10 of this. This one definitely won't get a perfect, but I do want this graded. I think it's cool. I think I have the Pikachu in here. This is the same way. Yeah, because these should be all the promos here. These are all from that Premium Collection box or whatever it was. That super ultra premium collection box. Here's the Pikachu metal card. Uh, this one did have like bubbling and chips and stuff like that. 
sadly. Um, but it's still still a very cool card. Who knows what it'll grade as. These should all be Pikachus to finish this off. Oh, there's a Raichu. I lied. There's a Raichu in here. I don't even know how you got in there between all of these Pikachus. Uh, non hollow Fossil Raichu. Another Raichu from base set. I thought that these were all Pikachus, but whatever. I was wrong. Pikachu. There we go. What's that? Pikachu and that other guy? Zekrom or something? I don't know. But there it is. Tag team. Team up. Something team. Pikachu E-Series. Uh, I really like that. I don't know what he's looking at. Just maybe he's looking at the mist in the distance. Looks very cool. Okay, this is the uh, the hidden in the grass Pikachu. This should be a jungle Pikachu. Pikachus. I just really like this card. I ordered this off of eBay also. Thought it was a cool card. I have the non hollow version of this, but it's just not as cool as the hollow. Last three should all be Japanese. Yeah, the uh, the Nagabas, the Yo Nagabas or Yo Nagaba Pikachus. I've showed a couple of these before. Um, I have a lot of these, to be honest with you. I think like seven or eight of them. Uh, and they're all getting graded, every one of them. Um, I gave one to one of my friends. Actually, I gave two away to two of my different friends. Both named Nick, both spelled differently. Um, but I gave them both one because they were trying to get these cards. And every time they'd go on eBay to get one, they didn't have them. And now they're everywhere. And then we have the, yeah, that magazine, the Core Core magazine, the Core Core magazine, uh, V Max Pikachu. I thought that was really cool, and I really love like cards like this that have stuff on it. Um, I think this card is awesome. I was super excited to get this. I did order another one. I was gonna get the whole magazine and then get the magazine itself graded uh, with the card in it, but this is still very cool. But yeah, I guess that is going to do it. Um, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff below. Let me know what you think I should and should not get graded. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Don't forget that subscribe button if you would. And thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye.